It's an awesome day in Paducah, Kentucky. Hope you guys are doing well. Dylan Thompson here, Chase Motorsports Coach and Trailer Sales, Paducah. Got a 2017 Renegade XL on the International Lone Star chassis. One of a kind here. Its nickname is The Joker. How about it, folks? 2017 Renegade XL. It's a 43 foot. It's what they call this one. It's 44 and a half, I think, tip to tip on length. Uh, true stacks coming out the top there. 600 horsepower. ISX Cummins under the hood with an 18 speed Eaton Ultra Shift. One bad ride, I'm here to tell you. From the outside, uh, full body paint, the uh, power and drivetrain. Uh, it's got an own end 12,500 watt generator with right around 250 hours. So let's take a quick spin around it. Lots of uh, storage compartments around the exterior. A lot of chrome, you can see that grill in the front bumper. Um, again, a 12,500 watt Onan, 250 hours. Look at the body paint. And when I see the paint is a solid nine and a half out of 10, I mean it. It's nice, it is very nice. Uh, the paint was recently um, gone over, had a full paint correction by a professional detailer. Triple slide, so two on the driver's side, as you can see, and one on the passenger. 40,000-pound hitch. It's already pre-wired um, with your 7-pin for your trailer marker lights. Also pre-wired for the Voyager backup cam on the trailer. 600 horse Cummins. Lots of storage options. Check out our online photo album. So we just uploaded uh, probably between 150 to 200 pictures going all around it. Uh, only thing we couldn't do today was get a picture of the awning out. Uh, the winds here today, um, beautiful outside, but a little windy to risk running the awning out. So it's got a 32 or 33 foot zip D awning. You can see it's the green rail running across the top. Um, Michelin drive tires on the rear. I think they're dated late 16. Um, only 26,000 original miles on this coach, so that's how many miles are on the tires. The, um, the steers are brand new. Uh, they are Firestones, and they're dated, I think, early 22. They, they were just recently installed. Uh, again, triple slides, so uh, you got the wardrobe slide out in the bedroom. Uh, on the other side of the bedroom, the bed slides out, so it makes a very spacious bed. The uh, coach is equipped with outdoor entertainment, which you can see is in that compartment there. Again, take a look at those photos and it'll show all that. Uh, keyless entry. Um, the uh, coach has heated tile floor. It's dual zone, so heated tile floor throughout it. And um, Aqua Hot, that's another big thing I didn't mention. Uh, the coach does have the Aqua Hot 450, the hydronic water system. It's gonna heat your hot water up and uh, it heats the antifreeze and the closed cooling uh, loop system up to make hot air. So, I, oh, another big thing. This one has two inverters. So one of the inverters, you, you noticed in the photos, if you looked at those, uh, this coach has four 8D batteries, eight Delta. So 8D batteries, it's got four of them. Two are wired to one inverter. The other two go to the other inverter. And it's got, uh, it's set up to where you can run the middle air conditioner on the inverter. So you can literally go down the road and run the middle roof air without having your generator on, which keeps, you know, whoever's riding back in the RV, the house side of it, keeps them cooled off and you don't put hours on your generator. Then you can flip the other inverter on and that's going to run your refrigerator, your TV, and, you know, outlets throughout the coach. So you literally can stay in this thing um, it does have solar charging up on the roof. Uh, it also charges from the, um, the truck engine while you're going down the road. 
so you you literally can run the whole thing just off driving the truck around or solar charging with some good sunlight uh, it's got a washer and dryer in it automatic hydraulic leveling the joker all right let's take a quick spin through the inside so this is a front entry coach as you can see the doors mounted on the passenger side kind of up towards the front uh, it does have a full walk through cab so you um, literally just kind of walk up barely duck your head if you're tall and step right off into it 26,000 original miles uh, it's got a an updated Alpine. It looks like a little iPad. It does um, Apple CarPlay, um, Bluetooth, of course. You can link your phone, GPS to it, all that. Very spacious and roomy cab area. On the driver's side, you've got a sofa that does turn into a queen-size air mattress, high to bed. The plastic is still on the mattress. I honestly don't think it's ever been used. Um, you've got a sofa, or excuse me, a dinette here, booth style. Um, I had someone call on this rig a couple days ago, and they were asking about, they said, hey, we need to sleep six. Well, you've got two here. You've got two back in the master bedroom. Um, we can convert that to a dream dinette to where the center leaf drops down, and we have a little uh, cushion made that bridges the gap between the two booths, and you can make a small bed there. So something we do have in stock uh, and we're capable of doing. Um, polished porcelain tile floor. It is heated floor and it is dual zone, so you can set the front on a certain temp, rear on a certain temp. Uh, LG TV and sound bar. Uh, it does have the Wingard Traveler HD in motion satellite, LG DVD player, uh, Samsung convection microwave, uh, two burner, true induction cooktop, Fisher Paykel uh, dish drawer, dishwasher, and then the large uh, stainless, the single bowl. So the large single sink there, as you can see. Um, all the shades are powered, so it's power day and night shades in this one. Um, let's see if I'm forgetting. Oh, refrigerator. Uh, it is a Samsung with the French doors on the top and the pull-out freezer on the bottom. Kind of open that up and show you. As you can see there, a lot of room in the fridge. And then, oh, ice maker too. I didn't mention that. So ice maker, fringe door, Samsung fridge with the awesome safety latches. That keeps your mustard and your ketchup and your pickles all from flying in the floor at about 60 miles an hour when dad makes a hard left or right turn. So, all right. Um, little cabinetry with a small countertop there, some storage above. Um, and then we roll into the bathroom. As you can see, a little vanity. This is a mid-bath coach, so one bathroom in it, mid-bath. Um, mirrors with medicine cabinets behind them. And then it's got a one-piece fiberglass shower, which I love because they are so easy to clean. Literally get in there with some Tylex or, um, you know, a shower cleaning chemical, and within a few minutes, you've scrubbed the whole thing down and perfectly clean. It's got the sliding glass doors with a little safety catch. So you open those guys up, plenty of room, lots of height in there to uh, take a shower. And, and then um, adjacent to the shower, you've got another door. This is where the commode's going to be. It is one of the tec uh, Tecmas, which is the uh, electronic uh, vacuum flush style toilets. And you can see a vanity and another little medicine cabinet. Lots of windows in this one, too. Uh, next door to the commode room. You've got the washer and dryer. It's not a combo. It is a split system. So we've got a dryer on top and a washer on the bottom. And uh, there is sliding pocket doors. So you, as you can see, um, I kind of spin my phone around. You grab this. It's all magnetic. And you pull and you can actually block off the uh, bathroom. Or you can spin around here and there's another one there if you want to block off the bedroom from the bathroom. Uh, as we make our way back here, we've got a queen-size bed. Uh, of course, the water tank is located underneath it. Uh, this coach has 150 gallons on board, fresh water. Uh, again, heated floor in the bedroom. We've got a cedar-lined um, wardrobe closet with uh, glass sliding doors. Very nice. And um, going back here. 
little cabinetry, lots of storage. I like the cabinet finish. Let me kind of get in the light the ring, see that it's um, it's a, like a high gloss finish. Super, super, super awesome looking. So um, there's two slides in the bedroom. One's the bed. The other one is the um, storage wardrobe area here with a TV. Uh, down here, you've also got uh, your satellite connection and a DVD player already installed. And then a uh, place to hang some clothing with a clothing rod. And this cabinet actually goes back behind the TV and runs all the way over to the other side. So uh, super cool engineering, smart design. Um, I believe we covered everything. Uh, there's your floor controls for the front rear zone, AC. Um, let me know if you have any questions. We would love to hear from you. We try to do a little video because first thing we do when we post pictures, someone will say, hey, can you send me a walkthrough video? Absolutely, sir. Stand by. YouTube link coming in a matter of about 30 seconds. So uh, each time I shoot photos, I'm going to get in a, a routine or habit of taking the video because um, I like pictures, but the videos seem to be pretty uh, informative as well. Uh, the cab does have the wraparound curtain, as you can see, tucked behind the driver's seat that'll go right around the cab, and uh, and it blocks the windshield, or you can unsnap this guy. You can see his rails, it actually blocks off like the whole thing. So, um, Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, race-haulers.com, that's R-A-C-E dash haulers. So a little dash and then H-A-U-L-E-R-S.com. Uh, we're on Instagram, we're on YouTube, we're on Facebook. We would love to hear from you. We would love to help get you in the coach that you're looking for. We also buy coaches. So if you have a friend or even yourself or anyone you know that is looking to sell something like this, we will buy them without trading on them. So, um, you know, the old industry mindset a lot of times is, oh, I, I can't get rid of this and I've got to trade it. Well, if you're looking to sell one, we are buying all the time. Um, we also do some consignments. Um, we will consign if it's on site, which meaning we have to have the unit here. So we can also discuss that with you. Um, but uh, give me a shout if I can help you. 270-556-8461. Uh, it's my cell phone and the best way to reach me. Again, Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, coach in trailer sales. And uh, we're coming to you right here out of Paducah, Kentucky. We're located just a few miles off of Interstate 24. I'm two hours northwest of Nashville, Tennessee. And we also have, uh, right now it's with United Airlines, but it's fixing to change to Contour, I believe. And there will be a daily connection flight right into Paducah through Charlotte, North Carolina. So if you want to come check it out, we would gladly uh, pick you up at Nashville, Tennessee, which has a lot of flight options, uh, or you could fly straight into Paducah. Uh, it does connect there in Charlotte. So anyways, um, give me a shout. Love to help you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.